Hello everyone, this is Joseph K. Welcome back to more Let's Play Tales of the Abyss 100%. In the last part, we, uh, what did we do? We, we did some Cupid, we got the peace tree sign. Uh, guy nearly killed the king, but he did that just to make sure the king follows his word this time. And then everybody came forth and said that they all had parts in the Hod Destruction 15 years ago. So... We then did some side stuff, and now we have to go to Sheridan to go check on the progress of our uh, thing that we gotta use. The Tartarus, so that we're able to get into the Accor. And as you can see, I'm now playing as uh, Annis. I haven't played as her in a while. So, pip pep, cheerio, let's go. We need to go to Sheridan. Or I should say Port Sheridan, because we can't actually get into Sheridan because we can't land in Sheridan. Man, you see this little spot right here? This is going to be fun later. But we can't get there yet. Well, we could. I did mention that you could get this, uh, what's here now if you wanted to. But you, you had, what you'd have to do if you really, really, really want to do that. And then allow yourself to sequence break. You would then, uh, you would simply, uh, get yourself near, land somewhere where you don't have to load. Make sure there's no enemies on screen. And then you would have to eject your disc. And upon ejecting your disc, you'd wait a couple minutes while the game, uh, freezes. And then, you'd be allowed to finally... ...move around. And then you'd be able to basically break... ...go through, like, walls and walk on the water and all that fun stuff. If you really were into that. I will not be doing that. At least not in the first playthrough. I want to do everything legitimately. I might consider doing it for the uh, second playthrough. But honestly, I don't know how the uh, recording capture card would react. And, huh, this looks interesting. Yeah, I don't know how the capture card would react if I did that. But I definitely consider it. Anyways, there's Port Sheridan. I'd show it off. There's also a way to uh, glitch it so that you play with Ash the rest of the game. I don't know why you'd want to play with Ash the rest of the game. I think I heard something like you can't do anything to him, so it'd be kind of pointless to play as Ash the rest of the game. Plus, you'd miss out on a lot of skits, I would imagine, because you don't have Luke there to initiate the quest. Although, the game might treat Ash like Luke. I don't know. I guess some people just think Ash is more badass. Not me. And y'all, this episode is almost not going to make it up in time. It is 8.38pm on Thursday when I'm recording this. I just finished playing ahead a bit so I could get at least two more parts. I think I have almost three parts, if not three parts, ready to go. <laughs> but I only have two more parts gonna come out for the week. So I'm very, very tired. I'm gonna try to record this and get it out in a decent time. But what you wanna do is you wanna come to the meeting hall. And you're automatically going to get a seat. Hey, we finished modifying the Tartarus. 
Really? Fantastic. <laughs> Never underestimate the elderly. We've moored the Tartarus in Port Sheridan. All that's left is to cross the Aldrin Sea to where Axeriuth collapsed and dive into the core. The Tartarus's phonic barrier will protect you from the miasma and the planet's pressure. But it exerts severe stress on the system. It'll only last about 130 hours. Oh, that's plenty of time. You can beat this game in under 100 hours if you really wanted to without doing 100%. That isn't exactly a lot of time. The burden is just too great. The phone machinery should hold long enough to sail to Axiriuth and reach the core. Also, generating a high-energy phonic barrier requires support machinery. We'll send up a flare from here once you decide to start the core breach operation. Then Aston, who's waiting at the port, will activate the phonic barrier. So, the moment we set out from this city, the countdown starts. It's five days from here to Axeriuth in the Tartarus. Five days? What are you talking about? Jade, it takes like five minutes. We'll have to breach the core and get out in less than ten hours. The slightest delay or mistake will be fatal. You'll escape in the Albior. We'll have to attach a pressure neutralizing phone machine to it. Once you begin the operation, we'll send the Albior to the harbor. Once the phone machine is attached, Aston will store the Albior in the Tartarus hold. So we can't use the Albior once the operation begins. Right. You won't be able to go to other cities to buy supplies. Well, nuts. I guess you better Make shop sure here. To take care of anything you need to before you begin. Oh, okay. That's what okay, I was going to say. Okay, you've heard the plan. Now go get yourselves ready. Once you're all set to begin, come talk to me. And after you get done with that, you get one chance to do this right. Did not miss a chance to blow. Now we just need to take the Tartarus to the core and neutralize the vibration. Yeah, at last. Our time is limited and there's no telling what may occur once we're underway. If there's anything you regret not having done, do it now. You don't have to put it that way. No, I'm serious. Once the operation begins, we won't be able to use the Albior. But we have to hurry, do we not? As they say, haste makes waste. I think Jade is trying to say that we should be emotionally prepared before we start. Yeah, let's do that, so we don't have any regrets later. Screaming now, exactly. Screaming now, no regrets. By the way, I already know what I'm going to call this title. Uh, let's, I actually did not see this dude over here before. Good luck, I'm behind you all the way. Good luck. By the way... If you talk to uh, Ian and now, that's it. Uh, you're gonna, you, well, it's not exactly it. You can still say, no, you're not ready. But I actually am going to do a little bit of shopping. I don't exactly have all the gold in the world to do the max amount of shopping I'd like to do, but... Because I was playing this earlier and... Like, within like an hour ago, and I actually uh, was... Uh, well, first, I want to buy food. I actually spent like... Almost 50,000 gold here. And I can spare 50,000 gold on my playthrough because, well, I carried over my gold from the previous game. So in my pre in my my uh, game save state that I'm using to uh, take my notes and whatever, I actually have like 200, 2,812,000 gold. Take it a break at the moment. There's anything you need to go right ahead. I'm also going to try to make this a shorter episode. Again, because I am very strapped for time and I want to get some peace to sleep. Okay, we don't have any food. And I still need a shower. I just need to make sure this episode gets up. And then tomorrow, I will get Saturday's episode ready to go. And then I will play ahead some more and get a start on next week's episodes. Uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to buy a weapon. We're going to buy one Night Fencer. I'm not really going to buy these other ones because, well... 
I, I don't need them. So we're going to give the Night Fencer to Luke. And we're going to give the Epi to Guy. Yeah, I don't have much else to play here. Okay, so let's see. What do I want to buy? What is important? Alright, let's buy one of each of the next upgrades. At least for the ones, the main people in my party. Which I think I'm gonna... Uh, I think I'm gonna go with Luke, Tyr, Jade, Natalia. Oh, I, I, I can't afford it. Oh, well, that sucks. Buy one of these. Can I buy? No, we can't. Uh, son of a bitch. Well, let's buy a full plate for you. Give the light plate to him. Give the night bracelet to him. Let's see what I can sell. It's actually better to sell when you're on a... When you have a certain title. But that's fine. I still have some decent stuff I can sell. I could sell her dolls, but I kind of like her dolls. Nah, I think we're fine. Now, let's buy some upgrades here. Actually, I don't think I want any uh, sword upgrades or any of these. I I don't even want to give a Mystic Rod to, uh, Tear. Alright, not that one. I need armor. That's what I need. The people I'm going into the party with, the battle with, the battles with, I need upgraded stuff. So let's see. I'm not going to buy a full plate. Let's buy the... Let's buy two Royal Guards. Actually, let's buy one Royal Guard. And let's see here. Yeah, screw it, that's fine. Yeah, let's make sure I give those to her. Those to her, so they both have night gloves. Good. Uh huh. Give her a night guard. Yeah, we should be good. Oh, the Mirage Gloves are actually better for, uh...
Anis. Okay, then we'll do that. Alright, that should be good. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we don't need a rest. We have full health and everything, so... Alright, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do a quick save. And I shall be right back. Okay, let me get this skit out the way real quick. What class are you? Hey, can I ask a little question? What is this, this Class I and Class M thing, anyway? Oh, those? They came from the names of instructors at Kim Laska Lavender Royal Academy. Professor Ian's class is Class I, and Professor Melissa's is Class M. The names of teachers, huh? So, Luke and Ash are Class V? I wouldn't call them a class to begin with. Class V, huh? Hmm. Hey, don't take it seriously. Hey, right. what was I doing? Oh, right, right. I was going to check to see how long I've been recording. I hate when I'm recording and I forget, like, what I was talking about, what I was saying. Oh, yeah, we have to play that. All right, let's get this scene out the way. Spoiler, there's a scene coming up. As if there, was, if there wouldn't be a scene. Anyways, come back to the meeting hall. We saved, and I, yeah, I think we're ready to go on and take on, uh... Our journey to the core to stop the vibration. Come over here and talk to Iaman. Well, ready to start the operation? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go. After you activate the Tartarus vibration device in the core, move to the deck in the Albior. There's a phonic glyph inscribed on the deck that generates a current of rising air. Use that to get yourselves out of there. The Albior's pressure neutralizer won't last more than three hours. If you don't hurry out, you'll be flat as pancakes. So many great ways to die. Dumb ways to die. The flare's up! Looks like they're ready at the port. We'll see you off. Let's go, Luke. Every second counts now. Right. All right, let's get out of here. Major Lagretta. Spinoza was right. The rumors of Belkin's researchers running to Sheridan were true. Out of the way. Letting you pass is not an option. We can't have you silencing the core. The Oracle Knights have secured the port. Cease your meaningless resistance. Throw down your weapons. Tamara, get them! You got it! Holy shit, the old lady's now, packing a flamethrower! But... If they sink the Tartarus, all our work will be wasted! There's no time! Go! Oh no, you don't! She got the Stormtrooper aim. Stand your ground. Not even the Necromancer would use phonic arts in this crowd. Jade! I can't. There are too many civilians without friend or foe marking. Ah! Out of the... Ah! Iamon! You have something you have to do that's more important than us old folk. No! Let's go. Hurry. Kick their asses, Luke. old people. Go, geriatrics. All right, well, let's get out of here. Well, what's going on? Crap, they found us. Whatever shall we do? You aren't going anywhere. Well, might as well give up. The Tartarus has my sweat and blood in it, too. I won't let you interfere. Master Luke. Princess Natalia! The north exit is poorly guarded. Hurry! Oh, that's what we gotta do. 
Ah. And he just cut him down in cold blood. D damn it! All right, you heard him. North exit. We'll dump your bodies into the sea. We'll hold them off. Now hurry. I'm sorry. Did you apologize for Annis? Also, if you went to the left after you went to the first exit, you could have talked to someone who was dying or dead or whatever. Alright, we gotta go to that exit now. What? What's going on? Here comes the Kalos Kim Loskin soldiers to save the day. Oh, thank goodness you're here. The Oracle Knights are attacking the people of the city. Please save them. Yes, your highness. But hurry, time is running out. Follow them. Why do you look stoned or tired? Come on, Tamara. Hurry! Join the troops at the harbor! We'll catch them from both sides! This happened because you civilians insisted on meddling where you don't belong. Class M and Class I's first and final collaboration. Don't let us down, Luke. Well, that was fucked up. Tragedy at Sheridan. Iamon, everybody, Major, attacking civilians. How could you? But they left us alone at the peace talks. You mean the peace tree didn't even matter to them? That's what it looks like. Damn it, where's Ash when we need him? We don't have time for him. Yes, we need to hurry to the Tartarus for their sakes. We cannot afford to fail. I know. But will we be able to board the Tartarus safely? And get out of here and finish with our goal? Or is Van going to have something else to stop us? Maybe more Six God Generals. Find out next time on Let's Play Tales of the Abyss 100%. This is Joseph K. signing out, y'all. Have a great day. Keep it real. Later.